Showdown at Teeter Totter Gulch is a brilliant episode of Rugrats and I remember this one. I say that with excitement because, well, I'm very excited about the fact that finally there's one where I have quite a clear memory of it because up until this point, a lot of the episodes have been kind of hazy or I've only remembered bits of them, but a lot of this episode came flooding back to me and I imagine this would have been my introduction to the term teeter totter that are called seesaws in the UK. And there are so many great things about this episode and it's also providing some good commentary on why junk food is really bad. I don't think it's necessarily the most obvious message, you know, really young children might not pick up on it, but certainly watching it as an older viewer, it amused me a lot. There's a Western theme because Grandpa is telling a story to Tommy and Chucky as they go to the playground. And a lot of this is stylized as if it were a Western. And I think it's beautifully animated. It's very creative. The costumes are great. It works really well. And they meet this little girl called Belinda. And I will say the voice of Belinda, <laughs> well, she sounded exactly like Lil, which is not a surprise because she's voiced by Katsushi, but it did annoy me a little bit that the voice was so much like Lil that sometimes my brain was thinking it was Lil. But she doesn't look like Lil, credit where it's due. And this little girl tells uh, Tommy and Chucky about this uh, junk food kid who is this much bigger than them bully who bullies the kids in the playground. And, and she does something really horrible to Belinda at one point. And what I love about this is that she's a she. Now... Most cartoons, when they have a bully character, it's a boy. And I don't know if statistically boys are more likely to bully, but as a girl, I can tell you, young girls, teenage girls, they're nasty a lot of the time. Uh, at least they were to me. But it's kind of a really great decision they made to show that actually little girls can be bullies as well. And it's kind of breaking that mould and taking a step away from the traditional representation of little boy bullies. And I, I really appreciate that they did that. I thought it was a very, very good decision that they made. And of course, she's called the junk food kid because she always eats junk food. And there's kind of this message here that it's made her nasty. Now, that's not to say that if you eat a chocolate bar, you're going to start bullying people because you can't blame what you eat on your nasty decisions. But it does slightly touch upon the fact that this junk food could be affecting her her mood her state of mind and that can make her have a negative outlook which in turn might make her bitter or nasty towards other children and there are you know cause and effect there and I think that that was a really great thing for the episode to do as well particularly for you know me now as an older viewer I've mentioned before I love the child psychology aspect that a lot of the episodes have that may not be obvious to the target audience but as an older viewer, you can start to analyse it and pick it apart. And I'm having a lot of fun doing that. And this is definitely one of those episodes um, with the whole junk food diet. And I know there are people who will say you can give your child fizzy drinks and it won't make them hyper. But at the end of the day, junk food is called junk food for a reason. I have to say, we, you know, Tommy really stands up for himself and protects Chucky. And it's a brilliantly developed narrative. And I won't say what happens with this junk food kid, but I do like the direction it took and I thought it worked very well, very well animated. The Western theme uh, was pretty brilliant. I love Westerns, I love cartoons that take on the Western. So everything about this spoke to me. Uh, and as I said, uh, yeah, uh, I, I remembered it. Not all of it, it wasn't, you know, it's not like the whole episode came back to me, but I definitely remembered quite a lot of it and I'm not surprised. It's definitely a really good episode.